whole God's love we deliver, I don't know, I love saying that. I love hearing it. Sending those meals to people, it's like arranging a symphony to like to get everybody's meal right, everybody's individual needs met. The whole floor shakes, the whole stage shakes. The power of what they're doing is just gets in you. It's really something. To have all these people on the stage at one time and then think that we're going to do something really great with it for God's love, I mean, it's a very special feeling. It's exciting. I mean, it's not every day you get to hang out with uh, Mavis Staples and Bill Murray. <laughs> it's really an amazing event, and the cause is really, it's, it kind of blew my mind. It's unbelievable that all of these amazing people are assembled for this. Just unbelievable. On an excitement level uh, somewhere rated between 1 and 10, this is about a 6 million tonight for me because uh, it's, I'm overwhelmed by the amount of talent I'm surrounded by. I feel honored. It's daunting. I feel intimidated, but not in the, in the bad way, in a good way. Uh, I can't imagine a, a day or a life without music. And food, uh, our bodies need that for survival, so it goes hand in hand. Just watch what they do over there and the heart and soul that they put into it to be able to have you know any part in raising awareness. I got to go visit God's Love with Greg and was completely blown away by what they do. Most of them are volunteers. They feed 6,800 people a day. The kitchen is 10,000 square feet, just about 10,000 square feet. We think it's uh, the largest commercial kitchen in New York City. We provide nutritionally designed, custom tailored meals to people that live with life altering illnesses. And that's folks living with HIV, cancer, multiple sclerosis, and a host of north of 200 different diagnoses. And walking in there, it's a, it's, that's, that's when it hits you. How, how serious the, the task is and how serious everyone is about it. Well, I heard about it a long time ago in the 80s when I first heard about them delivering meals to HIV patients and AIDS patients. You know, they were fearless when people were terrified. 90% of the people that we feed live below the poverty level. Point back, this is the Drone Rivers Bake Shop. This is where Chuck prepares all of the, the brownies and all of the desserts. It's a very humbling thing to go to the kitchen. You want to find meaning in your life? <laughs> Check into God's love kitchen as a volunteer. An older gentleman said, I get my bag, I get my food, and I get a birthday cake. I, I didn't even remember it was my birthday. And he later said, I don't have a lot of good days, but this was a good day. And that's what music does the same thing. It makes people feel better. Well, here it is, right? Love Rocks, Sam Moore. Wait, does that say Hall of Fame inductee? Yeah. <laughs> this organization it simplifies this. No one goes hungry. No one will go hungry as long as we can feed. There's no question that Greg and I are already talking about uh, volume two of this. We really are already talking about next year. There's so many artists that couldn't play this year that are already saying, well, I can't believe what you guys put together. We want to be part of the next one. I think there's a lot of people out there who are sick and that probably feel very alone in the world. Music like this is very healing, and I, and I think it's important for people to know that there's people out there that care.